Hello, my kindergartners. I am outside and I am collecting some leaves. Um, since there are so many on the ground, we're going to use some leaves for our next project. And you're going to find some different leaves on the ground. Make sure a parent knows where you are first. Okay, kindergartners, I'm back inside. I have my collected leaves and they all look a little bit different. Um, they're different shapes. That means they came from different trees. What we are going to use our leaves for is called printmaking. Printmaking is a very, 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 very old way of making art. Printmaking used to be made to make books. And so you would have wood and you'd have to use tiny little sharp knives and carve out the pictures for the books, even the words for the books. And then you put ink on it and your paper and there you would have your your page of your book. Uh, you might know stamps that you put in ink and then that's almost like the same thing. We are going to use leaves and naked crayons. Our crayons, they're naked because they don't have their paper on the outside. Our printmaking, we are going to use our lovely leaves and paper. If you see, if you look really closely, so if you've collected your leaves, I want you to look so close, you can see veins on them and lines. And if you feel it very soft, you can feel all those different lines. Our crayon feels those tiny lines too, and we are able to pretty much make a copy of the leaves. Are you ready to get started? Let's go! We have our leaves um, and our naked crayons. The first step to this is to put the leaves behind the paper. So you can lay out some leaves first and you're going to put your paper on top of it. It's very important that you keep your paper still. We are going to go in with the side of the crayon, so like the belly, and we are going to go over and rub and we will see the leaves. It's kind of like magic. Wow. And so I'm using a rainbow assortment of colors um, that I see in the leaves. You could do one color if you'd like. You could do a couple colors. That's up to you. But you have the leaves under the paper and then you have to hold the paper tight so your leaves don't move around. And you use um, the side of the crayon. You can use black and brown, some darker colors, to really define those little lines in the leaves. And you're going to repeat this process until your whole paper is filled up and you are happy with the results. Okay, my wonderful kindergartners, I know your texture rubbings look incredible and I want to see them. So make sure you take a photo of it and post it onto our Seesaw or Google Classroom.